afraid of pigtails over there. It's so... Bye, Chef DeMarco. Here Thank you go, you. buddy. Woo! I love the water. It's on now, Chef Monterey. All right, chefs, let's have a look at our second item up for bid in this round. Oh, look, it is a big old pitcher of the uh, bug juice that the Bobs drink. I've told them time and time again, trout don't belong in bug juice, but they just won't listen. <laughs> Win this auction, and you can confiscate one opponent's pristine trout and force them to use this trout that's been marinating in bug juice fruit punch all night long. What happens when you put trout in fruit punch? How do I supposed to know? I've never put a trout in fruit punch. I wouldn't do that to fruit punch. That's disgusting. Two thousand dollars, Chef DeMarco. Three. Four. Four thousand dollars, Chef DeMarco. Five thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. Sixty-five. Seven. Seven thousand, Chef Monterey. Eight. I'm not bidding on this because I know whoever wins is going to give it straight to Chef Monterey. Do I hear eighty-one hundred? Eighty-one hundred. Nine thousand dollars to Chef Monterey. Do I hear ninety-one hundred? Ninety-one. Do I hear ninety-one? I got ninety-one to Chef Candace. Chef Candace just got a life vest from Chef Monterey. Maybe I should just sit back and let her do my dirty work. Look at nine, nine two. two. Nine five. Nine five. Look for nine six. Nine six. Nine six. Nine six. Nine five. The current high bid to Chef Candace. Hopefully she'll give this to Chef Jessica or Chef DeMarco. So Chef Candace for nine thousand five hundred dollars. Bring it up, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't be emotional, Chef. Be strategic. Oh, I'm strategically going to give this right where it's going to yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Chef Candace, I need Chef Monterey's fresh trout, please. Oh, man. Revenge is so, so sweet. There's your change. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you push her in the water. She goes in, I go in. All right, campers. <laughs> the mission is a trout dinner. The time. It's 30 minutes and it starts, well, let's just say, now! Watch out for the water moccasins in the lake and the piranha. All right, we got this. Did I mention the leeches? Ready to go for a boat ride? Let's do this! Let's go. Chef Monterey's put me into this rowboat with Chef DeMarco. <laughs> OK, all right, all right. And I don't think he's ever been in a boat before, let alone rowed a boat. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, stay on that side. So I'm going to have to take charge of this situation. Yeah, you just keep moving forward. I'll steer, OK? Let's go. I'm going to sit back, be quiet, because that's the move when you're in a room with all women. You just sit back and you nod, and you agree to everything they say. Dig! Dig it. Dig! I mean, somebody's got to be the captain of the boat. We're here. OK, OK. Oh, I'm going to get mine right for this. Oh, my god. I'm not going to be able to hide how sweet this trout is. Luckily, I've got, like, sriracha and ponzu and soy sauce, like, really strong flavors. So I'm just going to have to embrace it. I'm going to try and rinse these guys off. So I'm making a sweet and spicy Asian-inspired trout with a vegetable slaw. I'm not scared. I ain't scared. So I start working on my slaw, chopping up some kale, radicchio, green apple, some red onion, red bell pepper, some cumin, salt and pepper, lime juice, and a little bit of olive oil. Oh, yeah. That is money right there. I'm going to make a lemon herb trout with some garlic confit on the side. I get some oil in a pan and throw in my garlic and I put it on the grill. I throw in my wild rice mix into boiling water. I season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Now I have to get my fish cooked. Um, you have no sabotages. I just want Zero. to point that out. So um, you not easily moving on into the next round is pretty much inconceivable. Inconceivable. I came here to win. OK. So did everybody else. Ooh. I fill the cavity with herbs, and garlic, and lemon. I season the fish and I put it on the grill. Oh, yeah. Some good looking fish. They look like they belong in a legging convention. Right? What the hell is going on over there? Right? I can't do the original grilled whole fish because now I don't have a grill. So I'm going to make a beautifully filleted fish with veggies. This is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to prep my food, but I'm drifting away from the dock. Oh, wait, focus. Not at all the ideal prepping situation any chef would dream of. I'm just going to hold of it. All right. Good? Yeah. So I just have big chunks of bell pepper, big chunks of onion, and potatoes. And I get the asparagus marinating and a little olive oil, salt, and pepper as well. I got this. Right now, I'm just going to do a basic salsa with tomatoes, a little mango, a little onion. I'm just trying to get this mango salsa out of the way because I don't have to cook it. Then I'm going to work on the filet. I chop up my onions, I chop up my tomatoes, I get a little mango and a little cilantro. I feel like I'm going to fall out. So I start filleting my fish, 
but my filleting technique is terrible from this boat. Whoa, we got it. It's okay. Relax. Whoa. Relax. I keep having to pull myself closer. My knife is slipping. Oh, God. I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself in the hand with fish juice inside my wound. I am butchering this fish. I'm in deep water here, people. This is not going how I planned. Look horrible.